Hey y'all, want to see how I achieved this spring ready pedicure? Stay tuned to the video. To start off this pedicure, I will be using Kira Sky's Petty Pack. This is the Botanical Blossom. I am using some essential oils and the scent um, eucalyptus and I'm using this patty soak as well. The um, eucalyptus will help um, open up your sinuses but also give you more of a luxurious relaxing pedicure and that is what I was looking for during recording this. I was under the weather and the smell from the oil opened up my sinuses and helped me breathe which helped me feel better throughout my recovery process. I'm going to soak my feet for about 10 minutes. The longer you soak your feet the better it ensures that that warm soapy water and the products in your petty bowl will help soften up the calluses and all the dry crusty skin on your feet. Next, I'm going to use Kira Sky's Healing Callus Remover in their Pumice Sponge. This does a really good job in getting the heels and also my big toe. Those are my problem areas where my feet tend to flake, be crusty, and dry. I will link all the products I use in this video in the description box below so go ahead and check that out now that the feet are nice and smooth I'm going to use the scribble dub from the botanical blossom petty pack set and this is a really nice exfoliating scrub that gets the dry dead skin off your feet. I like to apply it up a little bit up my leg because you want to make sure all of that is nice and smooth for the spring season. Now I am just rinsing off that scrubber dub before I move on to my next step. Next I'm going to apply the mask curate which is a petty mask. This is one of my favorite parts of the Kihara Sky Petty Packs. It's a very smooth, luxurious mask that will leave your feet feeling very smooth. These products are very affordable. Check out Kihara Sky's website and save you some money on your pedicures. I'm going to leave this mask on for about 10 minutes. The longer you leave it on, it's like sticks to your skin. So you have to be aggressive in taking the mask off your legs and your feet.
Now let's clean up my cuticles. I'm pushing back my cuticles and scraping up any of the dead skin, excess product. Um, on my big toe, I have some UV gel. I've been using this since like the fall of last year on my big toe. I had a foot fungus and so I had to allow my um, big toe to be scraped and filed down to get rid of the fungus. But um, when I did that, it also removed my big toenail. So I've been putting the UV gel just to mimic my natural big toenail. And y'all gonna see that process later on in the video. I'm just scraping away everything. Now I'm using my cuticle nipper to clean up my cuticles and make sure that my cuticles look nice and neat. Now I am buffing away any excess debris off of my toes. I'm going in with my e-file by Susie Melody. I love this e-file, you guys. Very affordable. And I'm just smoothing out my big toe, making sure it's nice and smooth before I go in with the new application of the UV gel. I like to apply a nail prep to my nails to ensure that the product lasts on my feet. Next, I'm using a Max Bond. It's the next step you want to ensure that polish, gel polish, UV gel stays on your feet, okay? I'm using this UV gel extender form to ensure I get the shape of my big toe like I want it. I'm using Mobile Vans UV gel products and I'm just using this base coat and I'm gonna top that on my big toe first. Now I am using Mobile Vans UV gel and I am just applying um, a few layers to my big toe. Um, this was my right toe, so it chipped on the side, so I had to go in and apply a thicker layer to the edge where my toe is no longer there, where my toe nail, just to mimic like a natural looking toe. Y'all saw the results of my pedicure at the beginning of this clip, so I have to play with the UV gel to get the overall um, length and shape that I want for my big toe. So that's what I'm doing. Right here, you guys, I'm just going back through, um, making sure I get the UV gel, the perfect um, square that I want it to look shape wise. Now that I have applied the UV gel and cured it, I am just shaping up that big toe. Now I'm about to move on to the other four digits on my feet. I'm using Jellish Avito Gel. I've been using this for over a year. I applied on my natural toes. I'm using this beautiful pale pink by the brand The Beatles. You can get this off of Amazon. Um, this nail design that I'm about to do was inspired by a Pinterest post that I found. So I just did my own interpretation. I love the spring colors. Very bright and open and airy. So I wanted to make sure the colors and the nail design kind of gave a spring feel. So overall, I liked what my pedicure looked like. So 
so I'm going through and applying two coats of the gel polish from my experience gel polish needs two coats for the more paler colors I use this very pale pink to apply as my base coat for my big toe and then I'm going to apply some more beetles polish to create that nail art so I'm using just a rose petal nail art brush that I bought off of Amazon this brush um, if you tilt it a certain way they can make little petals look like a flower but I just wanted to use it to help um, create the lines that I wanted for the overall nail art design. Once I added the stripes of the different colors, I added some pizzazz by adding these black dots to the look. Overall, if I could find the picture, the nail art didn't come out exactly like I wanted it to, but um, I was happy with the overall results of the nail art design. I'm adding a top coat to all of my toes and I'm going to cure it now I'm using the lotion potion which is the last and final step of the petty pack and I'm going to seal in all of that work that I did um, but also um, decrease the ash that can occur after you wash your skin and so these products are very affordable, good quality, and you're going to have a long-lasting pedicure once you use it. Last but not least, I'm going to add some pineapple cuticle oil and massage that into my toes to ensure that um, my pedicure lasts. And look how smooth my feet are, you guys. My feet are all ready for the spring season. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.